Hey everybody, this is Joshua, CEO of SEO Design Lab. And today guys, I'm going to show you right here how I would set up a Google Ads campaign in 2025. So a lot of this is kind of gatekept and a lot of people have not really seen the process and actually like have it broken down to them so they can actually understand how to properly set up these Google Ads. So let me just kind of dive into it. So I have this old account here and I'm just gonna use them as a sample. And what we want to do is we want to come over to campaigns and we want to just create, actually we want to click, click right here. So create and then campaign. And then what you want to do is you want to click actually right here where it's create a campaign without guidance. And you want to kind of determine what type of campaign you want to run for your company or your customer that you are running ads for. So there's search, which is basically probably good for local businesses. And then there's Pmax, which is pretty good for e-commerce businesses. There's also video. So if you just want to focus on the video side of things, you can get a lot of traction with that as well. And there's also shopping ads. But generally, if you're running shopping ads, you might as well just run Performance Max because it's going to run it for you anyways through your Google Merchant Center. So again, if I was to create my first Google ads campaign, I would start with the search campaign. So we just wanna click that. And you kinda of wanna just like determine your conversion goals for this, so like your interactions. A lot of time when you first set up your account, it should just pretty much be automatic. So we'll say remove contacts. And then submit lead forms is pretty good. Call forms, we're just gonna do calls though for now. So anytime ideally this phone call rings, so we're just gonna hit continue. And then select the real results you wanna get from this campaign. I mean, obviously phone calls, you would put the phone number of the business. So if we just look up Ponce Inlet Water Sports, we can capture their phone number right here. Just paste it into there and just hit continue. And then you wanna kinda of name this. I usually would just do something like beta if I was starting because once they have kind of proven themselves out of beta, you can just remove them into like an alpha campaign or something that's a little bit more segmented. So when you're first starting out, you don't really want to use conversions. You want to use clicks because you want to try to start capturing data. The whole goal here is capturing data. And then based off of that data, you can start making decisions and you can eventually start moving into the conversion based actions. So now we have clicks here. This is pretty good, but I mean, every customer is a new customer right now, so I won't even worry about that unless the campaign is actually established. We want to, pro tip by the way, you want to make sure that you unselect Google Display Network. This will save you a lot of wasted clicks and a lot of junk traffic. Then you want to click on United States because we want to service United States. If you wanted, you could say something like Florida or whatever. So, I mean, and that, it, and then you also want to make sure that like this is selected instead. This is better. So we want to do, I'm just going to do Florida though for now. So I'm just going to include Florida. So there's 33.5 million people I can reach through the Florida. And then we have presence people in or regularly in your include. So this just means that they are in this area, not that they keep coming in and out, maybe they leave the country, things like that. Literally, this means that they are in this current location right now. This is fine, don't need to do anything with that. This is fine, just wanna hit next. Uh, I don't, This so this is a new feature, things like that. We're not really running CPA or ROAS, so I don't think we need to enable that. We just wanna hit next. Now we're just going to, like you can use AI pretty much these days, which is pretty cool to get assisted with setting up some of the, like the keywords or the content, things like that. So obviously this just like pull this from here. I'll just hit generate for now. And then it's going to automatically recommend, see here, there we go. So it auto automatically recommended me some keywords. I think what I'm going to do is First, I would do Daytona Beach 
dolphin tours, if I was just like targeting these guys directly or like their main top level keyword, it would be something like this. And if you notice, I put it into here. So that way, if it's like this, it's too broad without. So by doing this, it's only going to trigger when variations of this is used. So it has to have this plus the variations instead of it being broad. So like if it was broad, people just searching Daytona Beach, you could be serving your ads for, which could be good or bad, depending on how you want to look at that. Um, but this is just like the be better way. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to pull a few extra, extra keywords from this. So I'm going to come into our custom keyword research tool and I'm going to click execute and we're going to run an actual live SERP search for this. Now you probably won't see my key, my form submission that I'm using for this. I'm putting in the keyword and I'll put it in the country United States because I have to, I can't just put Florida and I'm going to hit execute. And now that's going to run. See how this is coming through here. So now this is going to start running. It's going to create a Google doc. It's going to copy it from the original Google doc format and then give us the new one, which is starting to be populated right here. So we got Daytona Beach, Dolphin Tour, Sunset Cruise, Daytona Beach, Dolphin Tour, Daytona Beach. And this is going to keep filling up as the workflow keeps executing. So right now it's getting keyword ideas. It's already got keyword suggestions, related keywords. So it's going to get the autocomplete. The autocompletes are um, essentially like the questions down here or like the questions up in here. So if I did like Daytona, Daytona Beach, Dolphin Tours, our company's number one, by the way. But like, see, related products. So yeah, so this is this is pretty cool. It's going to take all this information and then push it back to the Google Sheet. Now it's getting the SERP results. So if you like the action, see, boom. So here's the companies that for this keyword show up in the results, and then here's all the keywords. So they're broken down. We got main keyword, got related keywords. You have keyword suggestions. You have keyword ideas. So there's lots of ways you can look at this. And we have also the monthly search volume for these as well, which, you know, some people could be like, oh, there are only 500 monthly search visits. How can I make money or whatever? Listen, I've been doing this for like 10 years now. And the keywords that get 100 monthly search visits, I pay my rent with. So it's pretty much all I'm going to say on that, right? But it, it's it's crazy. So I'm going to take Sunset Cruise Daytona Beach. I think it's pretty good. So I'm just going to put that in there. And then it's fine, whatever. So here we go. And then you have to, so you just have to put like your URL that you want it to go to, which we're having it go to the homepage. You can have it go to service pages if you wanted. In the past, I used to do something like this where I'd be like um, Daytona Beach dolphin tours and what that does is it adds the url see after so it's a little bit more hyper focused around the messaging the thing about running ads right is that these keywords you ideally want it to go to a landing page that also uses these keywords it's very key here in this whole process kind of nerdish but it's the best way to do this out the gate you can see we're already at an excellent score mainly using AI and to, to do this. I mean, we punched in the URL and then it gave us, it did all this for us because it got the description when it ran this URL, which is pretty insane. I would, I would change this a little bit, but I mean, that's up to you. You can use something like open AI, for example, right? So you can go into open, you can go chat GPT, which I'll pull up in a second come over here and then what you could do is be like take these take these keywords and give me title 
recommendations for Google search campaign, I need them within, you want to say the character limit, right? So you want to say within 30 characters, within 30 characters. And now that's going to run. You could prompt this more professionally, but just for this presentation, I'm just going to give you a rough draft of how this would look. So essentially, you're just getting it to write the headlines within 30 characters. And then you'd want to do the same for the descriptions, which are within 90 characters. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there's this part, which you would just verify with your account. Um, it's not as easy as just putting your name and logo anymore. So you would just need to verify your actual business details. Images are pretty easy. For now, I would just use something like stock. If I can, asset library, we should have some good stuff like this. Uh, we'll take that off. Doesn't really match the messaging. And maybe something like, oh, definitely the dolphin. You generally want about 20 photos. Here's 10. It's totally fine. And so that take care of that. And then let's see what our AI is doing. It's still creating headlines. So the GPT-5 is just thinking extremely, extremely hard. All right, here we go. So see how we did that? And then you could just add more details like the tour is 90 minutes. Bring your own snacks and alcohol. I don't know if you want to say that. And drinks. Uh, Children three and under are free. So if you know a little bit about the brand, obviously you can really help the titles here. And yeah. So that's pretty much it. You have your site links here. You can add these manually by hitting edit and then just create new ones. And then basically you put the the, I, I guess, like the title here of what you want. So something like um, children under three free. Okay. And then you write a description about that. And then you put it to your homepage or ideally a page built for this. If you notice, we have for sailing, we have reviews, we have manatee, we have our blog, we have fishing charters, which we can add and just hit save. You get the idea. See what we got here. Here we go, 90 minute dolphin tour. So these would be pretty good to use, you know? And it fits right in there. Oops. Uh, sunset cruise, 90 minutes. So you'll know more about this for your brand. I, I recommend taking 10, 15 minutes to work on the headlines. And then let's say the descriptions. So we would just be like, perfect. Can you now give me eight description variations within 90 characters for those? And then now that's going to run, it's going to create the descriptions for this offering. And you're pretty much good. Once that's done, you just want to add that into here. And then you'd want to maybe go through the settings here, add your promotions. You can add your prices. You can add um, messaging, your structure snippets, your lead forms, your call out. So like your phone number, for example, or open seven days a week, view services. Basically, once you're done with that, you just want to hit next. Here we go. So here, here's these descriptions. These are all pretty good. I'm just going to use a couple. So I'm going to throw that in there. It's, it's 76 out of 90. And then family friendly. It's pretty good. Voila. Okay. And then we just want to hit next. And this is the daily budget. It's just going to give you some recommendations. I would just set it to test something like $20 a day to get it to start firing. 
and then see what your CPC is. Once you see kind of like your CPC um, that's too low, you're probably not getting qualified enough traffic slash leads. If it's, let's say, closer to a dollar, you just want to kind of see what's coming out of that. And then you want to hit next. Beta came, so obviously our, I've already done this before, so we're just going to say beta sample, or say YouTube sample. Why not? I just got to confirm it's me, which is not a big deal. Whatever. You get the idea. So I just need to do this on my phone real quick. Which could be slightly hard, right? So let's see here. We want to do the phone. We just want to confirm. Okay, one second. All right, perfect. So now we should be good. Okay, there we go. So now this should be running. Checking for errors, all that good stuff. Once that's done, it should add it. Maybe it won't because there's no billing stuff with the account. Who knows? But this hopefully gave you good insights of what it looks like to set up a campaign. If you have any questions about setting up your first Google campaign, just drop some comments below. If you have any questions about your journal campaign, please let us know. We also do audits as well. So like if you want to invite us to your Google ads campaign, we can look at it, give you some advice, give you some type of consultation, things like that. So just ask us your questions and we'll go from there. We've been doing Google ads for about 10 years now. And it's one of the, one of the main ways we've generated income. You know, essentially if you can put in $1 of advertising and make four to $5 out of it per dollar, you, it's a money machine. Why wouldn't anybody want to do this for their business? And yeah, so, but we're basically ready. Your campaign is almost ready to publish. Just got to fix these errors, but that's basically it. Um, again, if you have any questions, please just drop your comments below. Bye guys.